It is seen as a first legal test of arms exports to Israel during its latest war on Gaza. Three Dutch charities and human rights organizations say by supplying spare parts of F-35 fighter jets to Israel's military, the Netherlands violates its obligation to protect civilian populations. But I think everyone understands that the, the bigger message behind this is a political one. Uh, that the Netherlands, that Europe, that the West uh, cannot apply double standards to this one case uh, compared to how they deal in other cases like Ukraine or Yemen. Israel owns dozens of advanced F-35 fighter jets and according to the Dutch organizations they play an important role in its war on Gaza. At least one shipment of spare parts was sent from this airbase in the Netherlands since October 7. The base is the European regional hub for F-35 spare parts. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, who decided to continue the arms shipment to Israel, was not available to respond to our questions, nor was anyone else representing the Dutch state. Its lawyers argued in court that the F-35s are essential for Israel's regional security and that by stopping the supplies of spare parts, the Netherlands risks its relationship with the United States and Israel. They also argue that terminating their F-35 supply contracts can't be done easily. Lawyers for the aid organizations dispute this. Hopefully others, other lawyers and other uh, plaintiffs around the world will follow. Netanyahu has said from the first moment we're able to do this, we're capable of doing this thanks to our allies that provide us with the military equipment. By December 15, the judge will decide if this ally has to stop helping Israel with spare parts of F-35 fighter jets. Step fast in Al Jazeera, The Hague. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.